Hello, hello, everybody. Look how light it is out here. It's doing crazy things to the light in this video. And I've got to show you, that. oh my gosh, it's the weirdest thing. It makes me look like I've got some major odd things going on with my eyes. But I wanted to come out here and show you guys the snow um, because I am in Michigan right now and it's insane right here. It is so insane. So those of you who live up here are really used to it and I moved to Ohio so it's not as snowy all the time. <laughs> so um, right now if you can see like a lot of untouched snow out there. And some major icicles going on here. But it's supposed to snow 7 to 10 inches this this storm. So I'm, I'm expecting that. I think they said over the next 2 or 3 days. Maybe 2 days. Right, Dana? You think I'm going to make a snowman? Are you crazy? It is cold out here. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to share a few things. First of all, um, I think that... I have heard from several people that their skin is nuts right now. It's very, very dry, and it's because, I'm not building a snowman, and it's because of this weather, okay? So when it's really, really cold, the moisture is kind of sucked out of the air, so you're not going to get as much moisture. Now, we do have several moisturizers. We have our skin therapist, which I use every day, and we also, I use Sotox as well for my fine lines. But we have this stuff called Must Do, okay? And it's got palmer rose and sunflower oil in it. And I'm kind of hoping Dawn will get on here and um, she will leave a comment about how it's been working because I did ask her about it. She's been mixing this with her um, lotion and it's working really well because this is a serum. This is not lotion-y. This is kind of oily. Now I can't use this all over my face because right here I get oily anyway, but I can use this on my cheeks and my forehead and I won't get that oily and it makes your skin really soft. So this can be mixed with a lotion, any kind of lotion you use, but it can be mixed with your lotion. You should always have something on your skin um, in the winter because your skin is going to get really dry and um, it's going to start to get tight and itchy. And you don't want that. I'm kind of setting stuff down as I'm using it. Also, you want to make sure that something is on your lips all the time. When I am not going anywhere, I only use gloss. So if I'm going somewhere, I don't like to reapply lipstick at all. So I use the, hey Janine. Um, so I use our Enduring Lip Color. But when I'm not going anywhere, I use this. Our Signature Jeweled Lip Gloss. And this is Peace, the color that I'm wearing right now. Um, it looks in the container like it would be really thick, um, but it really isn't. It's just a pretty pink color, kind of peachy pink. Okay, so you want to keep something on your lips all the time. So lips and skin, very important to take care of these things, even your eyes. You'll notice, I'm very tired today, but you'll notice that um, the fine lines under your eyes also get worse in the winter. And that's just because of the moisture being sucked out of everything in your skin. So you want to make sure you're moisturizing really well. Um, I also wanted to share one of my Christmas gifts with you. I am really excited about it because, actually I cried when I got it because I was so excited. But I want to share something with you that I've been thinking about because I was doing my devotions this morning. And I thought, oh my goodness, this will be really cool to share with everybody. But it's this. It's called My Creative Bible. And I, I use the KJV because... Um, I've just really been used to the language and studying English. I really like that Shakespeare type language. So I, since I understand it best, I want it to be, you know, really close to the original language in Greek and Hebrew. And so I use the KJV, but they have these in other versions of the Bible. If you use one, that's a little easier for you to understand. So the, the cover is gorgeous. Chrissy got this for me, my sister, but look inside too. It's also like a coloring book. And you might think, well, that's kind of silly, right? Why would you want to use a coloring book as your Bible? Aren't you doing that to study? Well, here's what I realized. I thought, I'm going to get in here and I'm going to do something, um, you know, creative today. I want to color a little bit and I want to study a little bit. 
But let me show you what I did. If I can find it. Isn't that neat, Dana? Um, if I can find my spot again that I was in. So I was, um, sometimes I study in Proverbs. And today, I decided to study in Proverbs 16. And, um, the... This is so good. It's just so good. I'm excited about it. But, um, you know, I've been talking a lot the last few days about this opportunity with Limelight. And it really doesn't matter what the opportunity is. It doesn't matter whether it's you guys, you know, joining Limelight and being on the team. It doesn't matter if it's going back to school or trying to lose weight or whatever you're doing in 2018. Because everybody's going to have that thing. You're going to have a goal. And we've talked about that in these videos. But <clears throat> it doesn't matter what it is. The Lord showed me today, and he has showed me many times, if we commit our works, it says, commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. So I colored this today, and that is Proverbs 16, 3. So it has these little things out from the side you can color, but it also has notes, like note sections in the side. So if you don't have one of these Bibles, you've got to get one. It is the neatest thing. But what that verse talked to me about what the Lord showed me is that a lot of times we have these thoughts like I can't do it or um, you know I'm not doing it right or, or no, I'm not gonna like when I started this I was like I'm not gonna get any sales I just want to get my money back out of the the kit but um, when I started praying about this and said you know what God I'm gonna commit this work to you I'm gonna say you know I'm doing this uh, whatever you're whatever you find to do, do it with all your might and do it as unto the Lord. That's what you're supposed to be doing. That's what we're all supposed to be doing. So if you're doing that, then you're going to see um, some kind of reward from it, whether it's even blessing yourself, like God will bless you for it, or God might bless somebody else in the process. But you, everything you do in 2018, you need to commit those things to the Lord. And then he's going to establish your thoughts. You're not going to have those thoughts. If you've committed something to God, you're not going to have those thoughts of, I'm going to fail. I'm going to be terrible at this. I can't talk in front of people. I can't lose weight. I can't, 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 can't. When you have God by your side, you can, can, can. And you're going to realize that and you're going to accept that in your life. And sometimes it's just a matter of accepting it. It's a matter of saying, you know what, God, I'm going to have faith in you. And when I committed this to you, so I am going to change my thought pattern. I'm going to let you establish my thoughts instead of my thoughts being established by the enemy, be it letting them be established by doubt. Because what is doubt going to get you? It's not going to get you accomplishing your goals. I'll tell you that. And we all know that. And we've done it for years and years. If you've set um, a New Year's resolution, you know that you are more apt to fail if you say, I'm going to fail. You know, I'm not going to get this. I'm not going to do it right. I'm not going to be able to, whatever. So make sure that while you're making your goals um, for 2018, that you're committing those works to the Lord. Because while you do that, he is going to establish your thoughts. It says it right there in Proverbs. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to carry forward with this business and my goals to get out of debt and my goals to help my family. And I'm going to do that by committing my thoughts to the Lord and committing these goals to the Lord and letting him establish my thoughts of positivity and success in him and being able to bless my family and other people. And so I want you guys just to try to do that. Um, as you move into 2018 and make sure, like I said in the beginning, that you are moisturizing your face and lips because it is very dry out here. I am out here in the wonderful Michigan great outdoors and it is freezing cold. I mean freezing. I can already tell my hands are drying out as I'm out here. So if you're out in the snow, make sure you're moisturizing. All right, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will talk to you later.